about 50 kilometers from Bengaluru at the retirement home of Anisha, Gauri, Rani, Janumani, Lakshmi and Durga. This is the first elephant care facility in Karnataka started by the Karnataka Forest Department in association with the Wildlife Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. The elephants are provided sumptuous food here. There is a vet on call. There is even a pool to help them with their muscular ailments. Sounds great, but these elephants are here after spending a lifetime in captivity. Situated in the Lakshmi Sagar Reserve Forest in Kolar district, it's been a year since the opening of this facility. Aged and ailing elephants are provided care, treatment and an environment that would help them to recover. There are about 160 captive elephants in Karnataka and about 2,500 of them in India. Many of them are under private ownership and are often used for tourism, entertainment and religious purposes, leading a miserable life. Generally in India, we are not having these kind of the facilities. We are having the um, elephant camps where the wild animals captured and we train them and as part of the man-animal conflict, like uh, Matigodu, Dubare camp, uh, these camps like that. But when it comes to the uh, temple elephants and the circus elephants, where the majority of these elephants are not having the proper housing, proper exercise, because every elephant requires a proper care. And these elephants are a social animals. But the majority of them are, uh, they never seen the another elephant. So that kind of the psychological problems, physical problems and uh, so much of the ill-treatment given to them. And for them, for those elephants, some facilities should be there and should, it should be managed scientifically, like all kind of the um, uh, tailored-made treatment we are giving here, like uh, the MRI scans and we, so many lab testings. The elephants are not in chains here. Surrounded by more than 100 acres of reserve forests, they forage, socialize, soak in the water bodies and wallow in the mud in these vast grasslands. This is one of the two natural ponds within the facility. You can see the elephant footprints here. This is where they often come to take a dip and socialize. It has been a slow and patient process for the staff to ease these gentle giants off their chains and help them get accustomed to freedom. Majority of the elephants are having the arthritis, the cementization of their legs, because uh, they are continuously standing and uh, without having any exercise. Um, they, generally, they require not less than 10 kilometers they walk uh, in wild. So their uh, body and physics are um, built like that. So the uh, 5,000 5, to 6,000 uh, kg body weight, if they are continuously standing, so much of the pressure on their legs. So majority of them are having the, this uh, opened up uh, um, uh, foot and uh, cementization of the bones so and uh, deformed the bo bodies inside so these kind of the problems some of the animals uh, we can see the mental trauma uh, like uh, whenever they uh, they see the people um, they may agitate little here in this um, uh, center each elephant will be assessed the weight the body structure what kind of the uh, their, uh, their entire blood profile uh, will be analyzing like uh, any particular element, uh, um, essential nutrient is uh, deficient with them. Everything will be assessed and uh, based on that uh, we are giving the vitamins, rough ages, we are having the good kind of the cooked food, uh, ragi balls, 
so everything will be like a complete uh, course for them to recovery if you see anisha anisha has got the abscess all over the body because they were standing for very long in the temples with the hard surface and uh, she has got she has blind with one eye also so this need a regular treatment otherwise this whole uh, uh, abscess everything will go worst so after this came almost 8 years back to us it is much recovered now and it will take some more time to recover the entire this one and also she has got two legs arthritis where she can't walk properly like other elephants so for this also we are giving the treatment but this is a permanent uh, disability this has to be maintained it properly otherwise it will go worst one more world elephants day has gone by the religious and cultural importance of elephants in india has not done much to stop the mistreatment of these sentient creatures in captivity while centers like these act as safe refuges and havens for them we need stronger policy level actions to stop the atrocities against these gods in chains reporting from malur this is shilpa elizabeth for more such videos and stories subscribe to the hindu Yeah